Welcome to Nabil's Computer Show. Today I'm going to show you how to make a fake Windows error. This is a harmless prank and will not harm your computer or any other computer. Notice it's installed there. Although I said it won't harm your PC, if you do use it and do get harmed, which you most likely won't, it's your responsibility and it's not my fault. Please exercise common sense while using this program. Alright, I call it pulling a prank. Call it whatever you want. VBS, whatever. Alright, step one, open Notepad. Step two, copy this into Notepad. I provide it in the description. Right here. It looks crazy. It's computers. Alright, that looks nice. Alright, step three. Erase the info, but please, you gotta remember this, leave the quotation marks. This is where you're gonna type the description. Okay, let's type, uh, this. Perfect, perfect. Alright, step four, erase title. Again, leave the quotation marks. This is where you obviously type the title. I personally get mixed up with the title and um, description because I sometimes type the description title, but remember, title comes after. So let's say title should always be short. Okay, now you're gonna notice these two commas here. We're gonna go into that. Step five: between the commas, you can add the number below. To use, put the button number and icon number together and a plus between. For example, 0 plus 16 is going to give you an OK button, and the icon will be a stop sign. So we'll do 0, 16. 0 plus 16. Okay, our message is good. Alright, to make a repetition of errors, which is really fun, just copy, paste, and change it around. Like this. Check this out. Copy, go to new line, paste it, and change it around. Oh yeah, this operates for and it will now close again. Alright, so that's gonna keep on bothering them. Now let's really bother them. Okay. As you can see, I copy this a lot. Okay. You don't have to do this, but for fun, let's do it. Alright, now this is the really important part. Save the file as the name of the file. Use any name you want. Let's call it yo with VBS at the end. Dot VBS. So you do file, save as yo. Remember to erase the text. Dot VBS. So you got yo.vbs. Save it. And we'll do this after. Let me just show you. We'll do this part after. Let me just show you what it comes out to be like. This application performed any deliver option. It will now close. Okay. Again. Now as long as that guy clicks OK and how much time you copied, it's going to keep on coming. Alright, let's make it more fun. Oh, wrong notepad. Alright. Move the file somewhere else. Like documents. I think it's called my documents in XP. You drag it in there. Right click it and create a short uh, code for it. A shortcut. Like this. Send to desktop create shortcut. Alright, now what you can do is change the icon and change the name. So let's call it Internet Explorer. Now the icon really looks ugly and won't fool anyone. So you right click it, 
go to properties. You can see over here you can change the icon now. Remember, you can't do this with the original file. That's where you gotta create a shortcut. I got a bunch of icons. Whatever you wanna do, just use it. I'm doing Internet Explorer. So I'll find the Internet Explorer icon. Right there. See, look at that. You can't even tell. Now, I'm gonna act like a normal person. Oh my god. Okay. At the end, you can do a bunch of repetition at the end, but you have been pranked or something like that. So find someone to put it on, it opens like a regular file. Alright guys, that was fun. Well that's it, more pranks up soon. Again, use this at your own risk, even though this is safe. Please subscribe. Brought to you by Sisterville, the Bill Country. Thanks for watching.